I was never good at running long distance in my life. In fact, I hated it in school. I was the only one training for those running exams and I still barely passed them. In 11th grade, I had to run 10 kilometers. And trust me, after the first minutes, I honestly considered throwing myself in front of passing cars. I ended up not throwing myself in front of a passing car, as you can probably see. And I'm glad, because nowadays I can run a decent amount without breaking a sweat. Did I say breaking a sweat? I meant considering breaking my neck. Is it enough to be a professional marathon runner? Probably not. Is it enough to improve cardiovascular function, relieve stress and increase alertness? Hell yes. The reason I tell you this, the same system can be applied on building muscles. Depending on your build, you can be classified into three different body types. Ecto, endo and mesomorph. AKA thin, chubby and muscular. You find out what type you are by using the so-called Heave Carter formula. Sport institutes and scientists use this formula to predict your strengths and talents. But do you realize something? This formula is only minorly affected by genetics. Your skin fold measurement is bigger when you got more body fat and your body fat percentage is lifestyle dependent. Your bone and muscle diameter is bigger when you experience physical stress on those area, meaning working out. Conclusion, lifestyle dependent. The equation that is determining if you're an ectomorph is similar to the equation that is determining your body mass index. Therefore, too, lifestyle dependent, which means your body type can actually change. Zac Efron is definitely an ectomorph. Oh wait, meso? Arnold is definitely a mesomorph. Oh wait, endo? Muscular hypertrophy affects your body type. And there are, on the other hand, multiple factors that affect muscular hypertrophy such as stress level, sleep duration, sleep quality, training frequency, training intensity, eating behavior, psychological health, and yes, genetics. And yes, genetics may also affect your other factors. Maybe you're a bad sleeper or maybe you are more susceptible to stress. And genetics also determine your muscular potential by setting your myostatin level. But in my eyes, the factors that you can control far outweigh the genetic component. Do genetics matter? Yes, they do. Are you able to be a fitness model and perform at the top level? Probably not. But are you able to increase your attractiveness, your posture, your self-esteem? Hell yes. And isn't this amazing? See. There's something scientists call learned helplessness. Learned helplessness is a state of mind when an animal or a person assumes that they have no control over their circumstances. I personally think that this phenomenon is an epidemic in our day and age. Maybe you watch this video to give yourself an excuse to never start working out to keep watching TV because you're just not made to achieve anything because of a stupid formula or a body type that the scientists made by photographing thousands of naked freshmen. Yes, true story. Now you may think, well, it's an easy thing to say for you. You got good genetics, maybe. But let me tell you something personal that even most of my friends don't know. I nearly died when I was born. I had to spend two weeks in the incubator to survive. When I finally came out, the doctors told my parents that I would either die or spend the rest of my lifetime profoundly disabled. 20 years fast forward. I'm standing on two legs. I'm alive and I'm telling you that you are in control. 
Don't ever let genetics be an excuse for everything you want to do. You are an ectomorph and want to build muscles. Eat healthy, calorie-dense foods such as dried fruits, smoothies and nuts. Eat more calories than you burn. Start weight training, focusing on heavy compound lifts. You're an endomorph and want to lose weight? Watch your nutrition. Eat less calories than you burn. Maybe start considering a plant-based diet. Implement low-intensity cardio exercises two to three times a week. Start lifting weights consisting of heavy compound lifts. You're a mesomorph and are happy with what you are or what you have become? Great, keep going then. You got this. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your trust. If you have not already done it, maybe leave a like and subscribe so you can get all my new videos on time. Also leave me a comment. What do you think about genetics? I appreciate all of your feedback. You're great, keep pushing.